Hello everybody, my name is Nick. I am joined here by Levi, and we are going to be watching this Valorant B game today. Uh, so, SMSU is on the defending side. First map is Bind. Oh, I am excited for this. <coughs> Sorry. And SMSU is running Ray's Breach, uh, Brimstone, Sky, and Killjoy. And the other team is a Mirror Image. Except for instead of running that breach, they appear to be running a viper instead for a little bit more smokes, concealment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that double blind for SMSU is going to be handy for him defense and attacking, so I'm excited to see that. We're, we're waiting in here. I don't know why. I always just like to see what kind of knives they have, <laughs> just because I don't, I don't know. It's, it's fun. They have a better knife. They have to win, right? Uh, maybe. No. All right. And like they're going to do a s somewhat slow push here up B, and this is C S U C S P C S C S P. Oh, it's in the, all of their names. I should have yeah. seen that. Yeah. SMSU getting killed first. The peers losing the first player and the second player. CSP getting full control of sight now. And SMSU looking like they're just gonna play for retakes once the smokes go away. And CSP fully backing off base of sight. Playing incredibly defensive. Nerdman. Oh, Nerdman not the seeing the rays. Nerdman the only one left in a 1v3 with, oh. Oh, with no health. Gets picked going for the gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like in that situation, he probably should have stuck with the gun he had. Right. And then... Or if at he least got a gotten into a better position if he wanted to trade. Mm -hmm. Yup. Yeah. Can, like, CSP gonna do a... A push here. With the better guns they bought. Mm -hmm. That... Is an interesting Viper wall. Looking like they were gonna try to line it up off wall. Maybe not. CSP running in, getting the first kill here on SMSU. Going for a raise ult, which is just a rocket. Getting the CSP killing the breach now, having sight control. SMSU playing too close and one in heaven, right it looks like. And SMSU Ooh. getting one pick there. That's actually really strong. Getting the pick. Ooh, they can't oh. get the gun, though. Can't it's get too far the gun. away. Like, SMSU just gonna play back a little here, see if they can. Ooh, oh, careful and Shadow not clearing that corner too closely. Yeah. And Getting taken out, Viper seeing that gun coming out and getting picked up, I should say. And I feel something over that here. round goes to CSP, like but us, SMSU able to yeah. full buy here, so we should see some improvement yep. this round from that side. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it looks like CSP is going to be going for more of a uh, con uh, bonus round, continuing yep. to buy light not buying anything higher than that SMG level. SMSU mostly getting out with their rifles, mm -hmm. but a couple of players not able to buy the full armor that we should see here. Yeah. Looking like they're just gonna do a B push. Viper sitting on A, see if they can pick up a kill. The smokes and the Molotov appear to be Cutting CSP off a little bit in Hookah. Yep. Now CSP stuck in the corners there. Getting tagged a little bit. Oh, fearful shadow. Now it's trapped in that corner over there. One CSP player appeared to be trying to do something on A site alone. Ooh, oh, and SMSU getting three picks now. 
Nerdman with a nice 2k there. Final two players for CSP appear to have rotated A. Ooh, lots of damage there from this raise. Mm-hmm. Now. Oh wow. The nice play by with a by flawless round. Bucky, yeah. Bucky just throwing that grenade showing off now. It's free. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, nice play there by Bucky picking up the one, dropping the the boom bot. Heard the uh, teleporter, so he mm -hmm. knew there was going to be either people going into the bathroom, yeah. which is why he dropped the boom bot, or they were going to be coming around mid, perhaps. So that preemptive drop of the boom mm -hmm. bot, followed by being able to spray down the players that did show up. Ooh. Oh, oh no, Bucky looks away a little too early. Now CSP with showers control. Oh, raise all. Oh. Takes a guess that that's where Breach is. Oh. Breach with one HP in that. Oh, wow. And now SMSU with two players low. Brim at a couple health here. Oh, oh, Brim taken out by the Killjoy Molly. Fearful Shadow in a 1v5. Saw a little bit of sky. Oh. And gets taken out by the Brim. That was a sky. Was that Sky? Guys yeah, it looked down. like it. I nope, it might have been Brim. It showed Sky as the killer. I'm not entirely sure if it was just oh. showing Sky because of the damage Sky got on him. It might have been. I have. I thought that Brim got the kill. <laughs> now SMSU a little low here on cash. So looking full right, four rifles and a bulldog. And CSP is going to have m money for days next round if they win this. Ooh, waiting out the boom bot. That's Miss You throwing all of their utility early on. Yeah. And now. Ooh, gets one oh. pick though. Now, nah, SMSU. Gonna have to push. Spike down a. SMSU now in the 2v2. Yeah, nice play there by Fire SMSU. Standing. Ooh, breadloaf. No. This Killjoy might have a little Spike bit of a planted. sneaky come around here. If they do this right and they don't trigger that bot. Let's see. Ooh. Knows where one is. I think Brim saw him. Upgrades guns, but making all the noise. Placing alarm bot. Oh, and Cage oh, gets oh. the first kill. Fearful Shadow. Only one left, and, and oh, it's yeah. Killjoy with Molotovs. Yep. Just going to save the gun now. Yep. Yeah, that nice play there by Fearful Shadow, though. I thought for a second there when they were watching that Brim, Brim was going to take him out, but that was a nice head flick. Now, SMSU just... I think the rest of SMSU might have a little bit of a money problem. Yup. I think in this situation for SMSU, maybe half by it for the rest of the team it looks like it maybe maybe a little less in some mm -hmm. situations yeah we've got two pistols two smgs and one rifle now csp walking up here smsu getting a little bit of a sound here you and hookah And now they for sure know one is there. Smoke down. CSP oh. just rushing in and taking sight. And nothing SMSU can really do to stop that. Yeah. Now SMSU in a 4v5 with KJ low. Ooh. 
That alarm bot giving oh, away the location. Acrylic picking up a kill. Is that the sky ult even from SMSU going out? Yup. 3v3 from SMSU. Ooh, oh! Bucky getting a kill with his ult there. Last player standing. Oh! One Bucky getting two remaining. kills there. Bucky sp oh, knows exactly where this Viper Yo. is. Might need to go a little quicker on the execution here, though. Yeah, no time to oh. defuse, though. And he's Very gonna get good. caught. Gets all the kills, but not quite enough time, unfortunately. Yeah, but huge play there by Bucky. So even though CSP won this, these that's gonna put a dent in their cash flow. So now CSP is gonna have to win this next round to keep their money up. Very true. Speaking of money, I'd like SMSU to maybe, I don't know, control their buying a little bit. They need to be able to buy for the next yeah. few rounds. Yup. Yeah. It mm, looks that's like that's something they're doing yep. though, so. Yup. Hopefully Ooh. we see another rifle buy come out from SMSU mm -hmm. this next round. Yeah. Now SMSU just giving them showers control. And this could be a big play here by by the Rays. Ooh, Bucky oh. gets the first kill. Oh, but he does get traded. Still very strong to pick Yo. that rifle away early. Last player standing. Oh wow, SMC already oh. already going down. Krillik trying to force a a play there, but it doesn't work for him getting caught in that brim, Molly. No. All right, and here we see SMSU actually able to buy rifles this yep. round. And now if you look at the, the cash flow for CSP, it's not looking too good. I mean, it you looks got a fine. You got a couple with uh, that are up, but then you got a few that are... It's very staggered. Because of the, um, because of the way buys work in this game, they yep. can buy each other. So yep. those 5,000 yep. players can buy that 500. And those 2,000 players will be able to buy mm -hmm. next round anyway, so... Krillik getting hit a little bit by that, and he is pinned here. Losing a lot of his health to those. Mm hmm. Knows that they kind of ran away, though, because that yep. bird didn't make a cry. Oh, oh wow. No. CSP getting Viper's ult down mm -hmm. on B, so that giant gas cloud's very bad for SMSU. Oh, and that's a lethal position by that brimstone up top. They've even still got two players over on A. Mm hmm. On CSP. I'm wondering if. Nope, they're just going to. They're rotating through Yo. the teleporter to Hookah. Let's miss you getting completely pinned down, getting up, trying to get back onto site. But they do take down and Viper. And SMSU opening this away. game up. Oh, SMSU oh. with a great brim. Oh, Red two low. kills. Picking up two kills with that. The only player that they needed to die, though, wow. was Killjoy with those mollies. Oh, oh no, Krillik not waiting for the sound cue. Man. I don't I don't think he had enough time though after that too, even if he would have gotten the kill there. Yeah, probably not. But a huge play by SMS. You with that Brimalt. Oh man, that Brimalt's not gonna come back for a while, but it mm. was pretty Yeah. Two kills is pretty good. Yeah. I'd say this round it looks like the economy on CSP is eh, it's still about the same. I yeah. Mean, yeah, it's it's just mm. SMSU going on another light buy round to yeah. try to buy next round. CSP could buy next round even if they lose this one. Yeah. And Bucky low now. Ooh. And Bucky sitting almost no oh, money. Oh, misses and, the shot. Oh, no. Oh man. Marshall is a very picky gun. Yeah. Ooh. CSP. Oh. A billion. I have never. I have no idea. I don't know that. you could. A billion. <laughs> you could watch right there. Sneaky little head peek. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Krillik's gonna. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. Two health. Oh, Brim getting a little 
surprised by that grenade there, mm -hmm. taking some damage, but. Yeah. His 1v5 is. Mm -hmm. At this point, yeah, maybe see if you can pick off yeah. a player or two coming out. Needs to out, die to bomb here, though. Needs to die, otherwise doesn't yeah. get money, right? I can't remember. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yup, yeah, because if you don't bite a bomb, you'll have less, so. That's, uh, I feel like at that point, that's when you go for it and see if you can take a couple of the CSP players with you in that bomb. That might be an attacker side thing I'm thinking of. I don't quite remember. Because it I looks like he got money, so he's mm -hmm. not a... Oh. I think he just got the minimum, though. I think yeah. you do get a little more for dying to bomb on defense. And CSP looking like they're going to do a full A execute again, which has been going strong for them so far in this game. That was a raise. Oh, Bucky already dead. Dying to Brim alt there at the beginning. Fearful Shadow putting out the Killjoy alt, though, mm -hmm. hoping to detain a few players and stop Yo. this push. Brim it pushing doesn't look up like Brim hard. cared, but every other yeah. player on CSP did retreat mm -hmm. for a bit. Yup. Nice play there by at SMSU, though, backing them off site a little bit. Now they're going to have to try to force a, a push here. Ooh. Redlow very close to dying there. I don't know. This Viper utility is very strong. Oh, and SMSU losing hookah control. Or that's not hookah. That's... Pizza? No. Pizza. Spike planted. <laughs> <laughs> I hit. We can't. I, oh, we man. can't read lips. Yeah. We've got a professional in the room. We don't know. We don't know what, <laughs> what's being said. <laughs> we're just gonna. We're just gonna call it second hookah for now. Second hookah. Not even close. Does the minimap say what it is? Uh, if you look at the minimap, well, that it probably does. does minimap show? I can't. My brain is saying shipment. It's just lamps. Lamps. Lamp. Wow. Lamps. U-Haul. Oh, U-Haul. Lamps <laughs> or U-Haul. <laughs> yeah, I did notice that from this double play here from that. Sky flash and then the rays double satcheling up into showers. SMSU has totally backed out of showers now. I don't think SMSU really ever played in showers. They there. did a little bit at the start of the game, but now it's not very strong. Yeah. Yo. Oh, SMSU killed two players while we were trying to figure out what U-Haul was. It looked like oh. both were in the middle of it, it was it was mid players. Bucky got yeah. a double kill, I think. I think that was Bucky that got the double kill there. And now CSP do appear to be rotating to B. Nope, they're coming Ooh, back nope. to A. <laughs> Fake rotate. Looking like SMSU is ready for it, though. They lied to us. Grenade! Trying to flush out Bucky with that grenade. Yep. Oh, CSP getting hit a little with that. Left. Oh, Bucky oh. getting a kill with a satchel charge. Oh, and he not ready for... Oh, man, not ready for the other teams. And Ray's, Ray's ulting, getting a kill getting on Fearful kill Shadow. There, yeah. And now getting the rotate over to B. Oh, wow. Ten seconds left. They got to keep running if they're going to have time to plan here. They will have time. Just but both CSP players are incredibly mm -hmm. low. Yep. SMSU's got pretty good chances here if they can hit just and a couple SMSU of shots. And SMSU not having very much util left besides the... Oh, oh no, Krillik. Nerdman gets the first pick. Only one, one left. One. He is one shot. 30 health is nothing. And oh, there it is. And Nerdman gets, gets the kill. SMSU with the second round now for him. Clutch. Nice plays by SMSU in this one. Very strong opening. The middle mm -hmm. lacked a little bit, but the ending was pretty yeah. good by SMSU there. But it looks like even after that win, SMSU struggling to keep mm -hmm. that money up. 
Although I got to give it to SMSU because getting those two players down like they did, I think that helped a lot in the end there. Because then you just have to get a little bit of a, just dink them a little. You don't got to try to go for a headshot as hard because a body shot will kill them. And now we're doing a walk up through showers here. This seems to be what CSP likes. They just kind of push mm -hmm. forward a little bit, take a little bit of control, yep. and then explode onto site. Yeah. Which has been effective for them so far, so. SMSU just doesn't have enough to counter. They seem to drop their utility mm -hmm. a little early. Oh, and this could be a really good or a really scary play here for Bucky. With the judge. Seems like so far it's going good for him. No players from CSP even looked oh, at him. Oh, and Nerdman getting caught off guard there. Spike planted. Oh, fearful oh. shadow not checking those corners. Krillin picking the first up one. Pick. Bucky. Oh, no, oh. Bucky doesn't get any kills with his ult. Oh, and Krillin getting tagged out. Very unfortunate round for SMSU. Mm -hmm. I think that was the last of half, even. Yep. yep. So now it's going to be CSP on defense. Yup. And now I think this is where SMSU is really going to shine through with their team, though. It's having that double flash for them. So I think that'll really show through on their ability to take site. And get, well, get on to site and take and hold site. Looks like they want to be showing their presence over on B a little bit more. Yep. Like CSP is going to do a full push out by teleporter there. Right. If they can do that, they might be able to get... Uh, that won't really do much, actually. <laughs> they can't teleport over to where SMSU is. Mm -hmm. They can only see if SMSU yep. teleports to them. Ooh. Oh. SMSU using Bucky immediately. Viper using up all their util right away here. And now Viper's stuck, and I think they know that. Yo, SMSU getting the first pick on Viper there. Gets two. Gets the trade off, though. Oh, CSP. Fearful Shadow getting picked by CSP Bright coming through that teleporter. And SMSU rotating around to A with the teleporters. And the SMSU might be able to get a site, mm -hmm. but it's going to be yep. close. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. A little too open on the plant there. Somebody out. One enemy oh, remaining. no. Spike planted. Somehow. And now Brim yeah. survives the boom bot, but doesn't survive yeah. the second mm -hmm. peak from that raise. Yeah. Nice play there by SMSU getting over to site, but... Not enough after the plant, unfortunately. Yeah, yup. Looking like Brim had more time to get the plant off in the middle there before they rotate it over. SMSU either going to need to go for a buy now to try and counter some of the control mm -hmm. over the match that yep. CSP has, or they could wait for next round and get a full buy and go for a tie. Yup. But that would be a 10-round win streak. Yup. Not saying it's not impossible, but that's a little more difficult. Mm -hmm. Yup. This must be going for an A push it here, and it looks like they're seen. Yeah. Lucky already getting picked. Oh, Krillic my goodness. Low. All of the utility going to Krillic right now. Mm hmm. And the rest of SMSU kind of just sitting in mid. Yup. Ooh, oh. Fearful Shadow getting picked there. And we lost Krillic over on long as well. Bathrooms. Breadloaf picking up the kill on Killjoy. It looks like SMSU is not going to be taking the control they have mid mm -hmm. seriously. Yeah. Maybe going over towards bathrooms. Might be trying to go for bathrooms. After us, oh. we lost two players there, but might not be enough. Yeah. yeah. 
SMSU trying to make something happen there, but unable to get the momentum in their favor in that match. And we have match point here for CSP and SMSU on a full buy now. And looking like CSP is going to... They could try to force a single rifle mm. if they wanted to, but Yo. I think they're sticking with their SMGs. Yeah. I think in this situation for them, even if SMSU does win this next round, they have enough to full buy, so... Miss you looking like they want to go towards B. Ooh. Chicken turret giving all the information that CSP needs. SMSU just sitting a little here. Seeing if they can pick someone off. Bucky shooting that turret B long only to run over to A long. Ooh. Might oh. get the pick. Almost got a pick on that raise, mm -hmm. but... Some damage we'll have to do. Yep. Got the little bit of the dink there, so. SMSU falling back from B a little bit more now, even. Bucky appear apparently the only one taking control over in bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Like Bucky's just trying to make some noise over here. Maybe. And Brimstone had rotated to B earlier, is now rotating back to A. And now SMSU is right on the gates of B site. Yo. Seconds left. Oh, and they're Will not they going to see that the corner Viper? Viper? Oh, oh man. man. Fearful Shadow gets picked but gets traded. That Killjoy still on site, though. Not cleared, but did get Yo. a kill and traded out. Planted. Spike planted now, so SMSU. It looks like Bucky was able to get on A site, mm -hmm. but yep. died while we were watching. Ray's getting site concussed. That Ray's does have a rifle, which is scary. Oh man. Oh man, Ray's alt going and out, getting Nerd Man there. Yup. And this first game here will go to CSP. They could st still mess up the defuse. That's true. But I don't think they did, though. Yeah, I was going to say, I think at the, in this situation, they're just going to go for it. Get the... But we will be back for game two shortly. Are we live? All right, welcome back everyone uh welcome back everyone <laughs> we're gonna be on haven this time around and smsu is gonna be on attack for this first half let's go csp I with a little player player swap there uh one new player i don't remember the old player i definitely don't remember the new player so i <laughs> don't remember i know we switched one we did i watched them switch but now i can't remember who switched was it i new think new? it was the uh no VX we had new, new. something Varsity, for CSP. VX. I don't think it was. Was it VX Varsity? Doesn't really matter. The player composition is all that matters. So we've got SMSU playing Omen, and CSP is reciprocating that. Yep. Along with Sky, and that is the only similarities mm -hmm. between the two teams. But SMSU is going to be bringing a Gecko, a Jet, and a Killjoy as well. And CSP is going to be bringing Reyna, Sage, and raise those are the different players and the other two again are omen and sky smsu doing a full a execute here and csp pushing middle taking SMSU's out gonna need the to be a sky little hard wick here they need to take that sky's position oh and they're gonna get the caught in the can back come in. They get the spike planted. Ooh, but they get flanked oh, hard. Wow. And that's three picks on SMSU. Four picks on SMSU. Uh, with only one trade. And this round. SMSU needing to do a little bit more. Quick, quick, quicker. Mm -hmm. More quick. They need to be faster. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I'm. Wow. That was. <laughs> That was very fast, a very fast push by CSP into sight. Looks like they were t 
totally not expecting SMSU to be watching their backs mm -hmm. and made all the noise in the world. Yup. Yeah. At CSP finding out once they realize it was a full A execute, sprinting up mid and uh, right in behind them. Now SMSU going for a full C push, it looks like. Yup. Down that long range, but SMSU is only going to have pistols and CSP might have those SMGs we saw last map. They are aware. Oh wow, SMSU getting one pick already. CSP only able to trade one. Spike planted. SMSU getting one hit now remaining. down in... And SMSU getting flanked it looked like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. CSP with some huge flanking abilities on this map. Sort of just able to walk around with That's three sites and a lot of different ways yep. to go down yeah. middle and get behind the other other sites like A and C. Mm -hmm. SMSU might need to watch their backs a little more. But now yeah. SMSU's got that rifle buy coming out. Mm -hmm. So SMSU having full rifles now, so they'll have the gun advantage. Oh, I see. It's the new player, and CX CSP's team is VX or Varsity. I think that X swap. Yeah, you were right. Now, looking like SMSU just going to play a little bit of everywhere here. See what they can pick up. They did deal a little bit of damage. I think, too. And CSP just so patient right here. Time to hunt. I feel like going for the dog to see yeah, if they can get any information. They know that Reyna's to the right. Yup. And they saw Sage to the left as well. Not able to do too much with that. Mm. Looks like... Say Bug, CSP's Omen was able to smoke it off before SMSU could do too much. But Say Bug does get picked there, moving into Garage. Yeah, nice play there by SMSU. Krillik picking up the kill. And now, oh, they have full C control now. They have full control of C. And CSP, oh, and Fearful Shadow, if he plays this right. Ooh, accidentally missed that jump, made noise. Oh, gets, gets one. one. Oh. oh, gets picked. Losing the rifle. Bucky behind. Ooh, Bucky's still behind. Oh, oh Bucky gets seen, though. He get the trade. Looks like they're trying to go for some kind of flash peek here. Last player standing. They get the one kill. Now Sky's going to have to make something happen. Ooh. Blinded. Gets the blind on Sky. Can they get the kill? There we go. Oh, and <laughs> nice play there by SMSU. First round win of the game. Mm -hmm. Of the map. All right. And SMSU with some nice plays there. CSP able to pick up the trade-offs. But SMSU in the end, even if they didn't get the kill on the, the Sky, they didn't have enough time to get the defuse. So nice play there by SMSU just playing everything out. SMSU and CSP economies do appear to be struggling quite a bit here. So what we're going to need to see is a round win for SMSU to really stop that CSP economy into the ground. Yup. Make sure they can't buy next round. But the same will happen if SMSU loses this round too poorly. Too badly. Yep. Too badly. And it looks like they're going for the same kind of all-over push. See if they can find any weaknesses in CSP's defenses. Acrylic knowing omens in garage now. Here. Trying to get maybe a quick little headshot. And SMSU taking a page out of the CSP book. Who needs to run in when we can just bide some time and then blast our way in at the end? Ooh, Bucky with a pick on Nunu there. This could be what they need. And Krillik pushing into Garage. Ooh. Sees Omen. Not ready yet. And now stuff. Omen knowing that he... Ooh. 
playing games, peeking oh. quick and fast and firing off a single oh, bullet yeah. at a time. SMSU does lose two there, though. Gecko all coming in. Ooh, Gecko all got canceled, it looked like. I think it did get canceled right at the end there. And now... Ooh, Krillik picking Krillik up one more. Krillik taking the omen. Nerdman getting varsity. The sage. And SMSU gets the plant out. Oh, oh. Krillik. Unable to get a kill there, but does get the flashes. Oh, picked oh. him during his ult. That's very big for SMSU. Oh. Very good kill by Bre Breadloaf there. And see as bright in a that one v two. Is there. Oh. Gunfight between Gecko. Oh, Breadloaf. Oh my goodness, that peek from Nerdman wow. while Bright was fighting Breadloaf was oh. incredibly strong there for SMSU. And now CSP not going to have to do a light buy here if they want to be able to buy for next. SMSU a little low on cash. You're going to have to do a little bit of a mixed buy here, but that SMSU was... SMSU might want to force as much as they yep. can because they've got the economy advantage this round. They want to make sure they keep the round wins yep. coming while they can. Yep. Nerdman in this situation should probably buy one of the SMSU players since he does have so much. Yeah, 5,900. He might be at max money next round. Mm hmm. Especially if SMSU wins this. But that, that fish just fell out the map. <laughs> <laughs> and now, oh, Jet might walk right into Nunu here. I wonder Jack if in a Jet back knows. Off. I don't think Jet knew Nunu was up there. It looks like Fearful is not clearing oh, the corners. Oh, and Nunu getting all the info in the world. Oh, my goodness. SMSU not clearing any corners. Oh, oh, Bucky getting a kill on Nunu through the wall. And Krillik taking out Omen. And now Ray's low after that gunfight. SMSU is in a 5v2 right now. With Sage being on C and mm -hmm. Ray's on B, it looked like. SMSU not losing a single player in that execution. Very nice by SMSU. This is very close there a little bit for a yeah. second. I thought for a second there Nunu was going to pick up a couple of kills and with the way that she was angled, but it was a nice play there by SMSU. And now SMSU having bomb at C. So looking like they're just going to do the same thing they did last time. Spread out a little bit. This seems to be working very well mm -hmm. for SMSU. Just spreading yep. out. Getting some information. Getting some picks. Ooh. A lot of damage on Varsity there. Mm -hmm. Having varsity. to use that heal on themselves already. Yep. And that's going to be a little bit of a damper there. For CSP, because that's what, 30 seconds or 45 seconds for that Sage Shield to come back? It's, it's longer than zero seconds. Let's oh. see if Krillik knows that this Omen is close. Yep, now they yep. do. And now Omen teleports, and Krillik sees it. Now Omen just running away. Krillik able to do some damage, though. And now... Ray's taken over in Garage. Ooh, it looks like SMSU That's lost two players towards mid. Oh, and Gecko sneaking off A hey, with Bomb. Oh, that's huge. There are two players B, though, for CSP are going to hear. I've got your trail. Now we got the alt coming out for Sky. I totally forgot that Sky had a... Oh, oh man, Redlow Red pushing a little too aggressively. Oh, an SMS, you know, taking up two. Oh, man. Krillik oh. getting two, but dying at the very end there. Some nice. Very good kills there mm. for SMSU. Yeah. And getting the bomb plant. SMSU's going to have a lot of money. Nerdman really should buy his teammates, though. Yeah. I 
hold it. Um, Gotta believe in nerd man here. Gotta believe in nerd man buying his team. Yep, it looks like he did. Goes. There we go. Looked like he bought Krillic there. Probably could have bought Fearful Shadow. Yup. Actually. Oh, somebody else was able to buy Fearful Shadow. Never mind. <laughs> I think Nerdman bought both their guns. Did they? I I don't. Did he or did he? Just I don't know. Buy one? I don't think he, he had might enough. Might have just bought one. I think he just bought Fearful Shadow. But anyway, SMC able to get a full buyout and CSP also getting a full buy, tied three three. And halfway safe. through this half here. And SMSU still continuing to kind of spread out and see if they can get information and do some damage and get some kills around the map. Yup, SMSU. Looks like Nunu is there in that cubby. Let's see how SMSU plays this. Ooh, Fearful Shadow checking that corner. But Nunu has moved. Yup. Oh, if Raze isn't careful. Oh, man. Oh. Raze does see Fearful there. Oh, and Fearful not watching. He could have got the a couple shots off on the raise. Ooh, SMSU taking a sight. Fearful not aware oh, Nudu is there the entire man. time, unfortunately. 4v4 here. SMSU has the bomb planted. Was that their gecko that did that ulted, or? It's our. We don't, there's only one gecko in the map on the match. Oh. On SMSU's side. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure where it went. Oh man, SMSU oh. losing two there, but taking two with them. So two v two. Two v one for SMSU, and SMSU oh. picks up the round there. Not even knowing, Sage is down in sewers. What? Sewers, that's where... Oh, and uh, uh, Obman was in sewers. Who did I say? Sage? You said Sage. Sage died on bomb. Oh, I meant to say... Uh, yeah. SMSU's Omen nerd man was hiding Omen. in sewers. I, I said it backwards. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Don't worry about it, sir. A lot of, lot of different names, a lot of different people, and it's always changing. Yup. Now, CSP taking a timeout here. Going, what the heck is the difference between last map and this one? They're losing. That that they are. That they are. They did also start on defense, and yep. defense is a little bit tricky sometimes. Some might say it's easier because you have to you simply can wait for them to push you, but mm -hmm. with three different bomb sites and only five players, SMS you can put all five of their players onto those two players on site. Two or one player. Yep. And now timeout is wrapping up here. Let's see what kind of plays SMSU and CSP came up with. Looks like CSP's play is to not buy anything because they're pretty low on money here. So they're trying to coordinate their buy a little better so they can buy this next round. And they yep. want to try to maybe pick up as many guns they can this round and win. Yeah, that would be. Ooh, it looks like Sage might actually push lower A. Yo. For CSP. A Ooh, wall. Actually, it was a wall. But SMSU is pushed quite far up C long, and Nunu is pushing up A long. Ooh, SMSU knows oh, well, they're I'm pushing up A long. Off. Yo. And now KJ knows that Reyna's up. That chicken turret is placed in an ideal position there for KJ, though. Yep. Oh, no. Bucky loses that gunfight and loses a rifle. Oh, oh, my goodness. And Fearful Shadow not able to get the kill, so they have that rifle now. And now Reyna just going to sit in that corner. Oof. Bucky probably should not have pushed that alone. Yeah. This is kind of waiting a little bit, but... Does get the kill on Nunu there. No. SMSU bringing this back to a 4v4. They're going to want to get onto A site quickly here. The more time that they yep. give the enemy team to get on site. Yep. Oh, wow. And SMSU does take A site yep. here. And now. In a 4v3. Spike planted. 
Ray's getting hit by that a little bit. Oh, wow. All players oh. from CSP stuck in that corner there. And oh, <laughs> Fearful Shadow in the getting the kill, kill with the chicken turret. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is... Was not expecting that at all. <laughs> I don't think he was either. Yeah, I, I would definitely be upset if I were that CSP player right now. I would be lucky enough to survive when mm -hmm. it looked like Krillic ran out of ammo in that gunfight, had to fall back and reload. Just so <laughs> the Rays tries to hide as well, <laughs> but the chicken turret. The silent killer that only speaks when the target is sighted. Yup. SMSU trying their luck on C, not liking it, immediately pushing over to A instead. And it looks like they might try to go up quick here. Oh, and Bucky, oh, oh. And Bucky not checking that corner quick enough. Man. Gets picked. Oh, and now they lost Bomb. Oh, no. Oh, but SMSU. they do pick Nunu. They do pick up the Reina, though, and Reina's one of their top players. And they get the Killjoy ult off on site. They do get time to that for that bomb plant as well. And CSP falling back to avoid getting detained by that Killjoy ult. Yep. 2v4. So, I did that dog see raise or was that? Definitely oh. saw the raise. Okay. I was going to say, I know there is a limit for how far you can see, but here comes that ult as well from, <laughs> from Gecko. SMSU just needs to play this out here. They don't want to... They are playing safe, it looks like. Yo. Oh! And tell Breadloaf peeked Back there. Hello. And Ray's missing that bomb. Oh, trying to go for a hope oh. that there's nobody there, but Krillik able to pick two. Very nice by Krillik. Sticking it out in that corner. I'm sure Ray's is very disappointed in himself mm -hmm. for missing that satchel charge yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. An SMS, you having money here. Breadloaf. Very low. It'd be nice to see SM one of the SMSU players with some extra money. Perhaps Nerd buy Man. Yup. Fearful Shadow. Oh, it looks like somebody did actually buy Breadloaf here. <laughs> yup. Fearful Shadow was also at 7,000, so. And CSP feeling the pressure of those economic woes. Yup. Not able to buy. Mm hmm. Krillik looking in garage here a little bit, and the rest of SMSU spread out. Fearful Shadow seeing a couple of players over on A long, and Bucky pushing up mid as well. SMSU just gonna take their time here. Bucky might be in a situation here with Say Bug. Say Bug does have that Sheriff, you know, which is very strong, close. Cover going out. Oh no, Saybug does kill Bucky! Oh. But SMSU does get a bomb plant on C. Oh, and, and they Sky pick able to hide in the smoke! Krillic oh. getting picked by Sky. Sage rezzing the, the Reyna now. Oh no. 2v4, SMSU. Bright picks up that rifle dropped by Krillic. Oh no, Nunu rushing Breadloaf, losing and a rifle. Oh. SMSU just getting mowed down. 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 Yeah. yeah, that's not good. Mm -mm. Losing rifles on a. I'm sure this is a thrifty for CSP. Yeah. Thrifty. Getting CSP full. spending no money, getting all the picks they need, yep. stealing all the rifles from SMSU. And I don't even think I don't think only one of them bought shields that round too. I think they did. They bought a couple of light shields, but light shields are only effective against, well, every player on SMSU, it looked like, had a Vandal. Yup. Which, light shields are very good for that, because the Vandal can kill in four shots with light or heavy shields, and will always one-shot headshot. Yup. So, it looks like both teams are now pretty even on economy. CSP probably a little better here. Yeah. Now, SMSU gonna have to... SMSU going for a full A push, it looks like. Getting a lot of damage hard. to Nunu. Oh, wow. That raised grenade pushing the entire team back, it looks mm -hmm. like. 
and they SMSU might lose bomb. Oh no, they get the bomb plant. That's very strong for SMSU now, actually. Now Omen teleporting up top, and this could be a huge play for him. Oh, SMSU picking one with that teleport, but he is getting flanked oh, ever so slowly. I think he. Oh, oh no! He looks away at the wrong time. Now SMSU see you needing to play a little bit more passive with the information and control they have, but they only lost that omen. Yo. They do get the entire enemy team there. Mm -hmm. Last round N in the nice half. play there by oh, nerd man for SMSU. I, <laughs> that was not really cool to watch. <laughs> Just teleport up into a smoke and then take out a player, give him the... I think, did he dink this guy? I think he at least shot a couple of the players. I think it was Sage. He might have shot Sage Yo. a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Doing that damage, diverting and confusing CSP. Yup. So that SMS the rest of SMSU stuck long, couldn't push it on the site. Yup. <laughs> Breadloaf making sure not to lose his, his little, little guy. Yo. Ooh. Oh, and right yes. missing those shots, getting picked by Krillik. Oh. Krillik picking two. two. And now SMSU having, oh, knowing that there's going to be another player there. Oh, but Krillik SMSU is SMSU taking C sight. Krillik is low, which is unfortunate, but they get all the control and two kills. Yep. And now they know where the Sage is. Krillik in a sick garage here. Oh, oh. Krillik getting picked through the wall. Nunu picking two of SMSU's players Dang. in garage. Stealing sight. Nerdman's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh, but gets two, and Bucky gets the third. SMSU picking up the final round of the half, ending wow. the half four or eight four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bucky with a huge save there for was that Krillin? It was Nerdman Nerd stuck Man. in that corner. Yep, for Nerdman taking out Nunu, making it so he could just focus on that player on the Sage and bat out back. That, Here. that was a very good mm -hmm. half for SMSU. Yeah. Now, SMSU on the defense. Let's see how this goes for them. If they win and lose the same number of rounds, it's going to come up with a tie. We need to see SMSU with one more win. Yep. And SMSU going to space it out a little bit here. Same, Doing the same thing that CSP did. 2A, 1B, 1 garage, and 1 on C. Looks oh, like SMSU's CSP. got that early intel from that flash. Yeah. Yeah. Expecting a full A push. Fearful Shadow looking away from the dog Long so that it can't out. see him. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't see Ooh, you, Bucky you with a flank see. and gets the That's kill on nice. Safe Bug there. And, and now that CSP seems like a lot stuck. of CSP's players are actually top A long, not yep. really pushing towards A. Not really moving around a lot here for CSP. CSP kind of just maybe trying to draw some rotates to A site so they can yep. leave, but not quite oh. sure. There. Bucky losing a lot of his health, but yep. getting to Sky, so now Sky can heal Bucky. Oh, and Ray's taking out Nerdman. With that one pick, let's see what CSP does. Oh, SMSU getting one, but getting traded. Oh, oh. getting A site. Ooh, losing bomb. Spike down A. I have the spike. But CSP will be able to get that plant yep. down. 30 seconds left. 2v2. SMSU. Bucky's still low, actually. It looks like this guy never healed him. One enemy remaining. Last player oh, man. standing. A. Oh, oh, that oh. satchel no. charge and insta kill with the low health Bucky was on. Oh. I can't remember if that heal from Sky is, oh. is automatically given at the beginning of the round or not. Might might not have had it for him. Man. Very unfortunate there for Bucky and Krillik. The only two alive. Yeah. They did take one down with them, though. Yup. But still, not enough for this round to get enough money to buy. Oh, that is tough to watch. It looks like they're going... I didn't even realize they've got a Vandal 
on CSP's side this round. Might be moving away from that. SMG second round we've seen so much of. Oh, is Razy going to check her corner? Oh. Yep, but almost loses it anyway. The shotgun not too kind to Krillick, or Bucky. Here. Oh, this and this could be huge be. for that omen. Hmm. Able to get their players towards middle, but not do much with with it. Breadloaf might not see the sage here. Nope, doesn't see the sage. Struggling with those close yep. corners right now. Flawless. Yeah, I suppose you're not able to even hit Damn. their attackers. Yeah. Actually, they might have hit the rays. Yeah, right, right, right. I think the only damage done that round by SMSU was Bucky at the beginning of the round on that race. I think it was, yeah. I think no, Omen did get dinked a little by, um... Oh, I don't know. Their Omen did get dinked at the end, and that when he was doing that pistol, the... He did get hit by the pistol at the end there. SMSU looking to do a C push here, C garage. Oh, Bucky immediately taking fire. Yup. See long. Oh, that oh, Ray is trying to throw a kill. grenade. Oh, man. Spike Bucky getting down. picked on Seaside. Breadloaf not committing enough to that spray. And Krillic, Krillic jumping, but still getting the kill on Nunu. Oh. Krillic gets picked by Bright. 2v1. Right now in a 1v2. The only remaining CSP Spike player. Planted. Let's see what SMSU does here. They're perfectly set up to hit him from both sides at once. Oh, and right into the... Oh, and he's not even going to... CSP doesn't know quite where to look. Yo. Nerdman putting on the perfect pressure to Yo. keep Bright from looking at Fearful Shadow while he gets the peek. Oh, no, no. Yeah. That is SMSU's first win of the half. Mm -hmm. And it looks like CSP and SMSU are going to be on full buys this round, so we've got to see SMSU pick this round up. Yup. I don't think any does anyone from SMSU have an alt right now? Sky for CSP. It looks like Jet has nope. the alt, and I think Jet has alt. Bucky is going to be using that alt this round. Time for a yep. field test. With a marshal as a backup. Placing alarm bomb. Placing yep. And it looks like CSP is going to be pushing up C long. Will Bucky be able to do anything with that ult? Nope. Nothing. Oh. Bucky misses the ult, unfortunately, but does get traded out. Though CSP has sight, oh, and Nunu and gets a kill on Krillic through the smoke. Up top. Spike planted. Oh. Nerdman getting picked by Nunu. Oh, and Nunu, Nunu being deadly in mm -hmm. that garage. Yeah, picking three. Oh, oh, but Fearful Shadow with a double kill. Let's see if it's enough. He's in a 1v2, and both players are watching the bomb Yo. very closely and watching each other's backs. I think in looks this like situation, though, he should he go looks like for he the is save. Going for a save. He might try to get a couple of kills on the exit. Indecision. Look at my, oh, he might get this guy here. This guy might be ready for this. Oh, and Varsity dies to bomb. Will Fearful Shadow get the kill or no? Oh. Fearful Shadow not quite right with his crosshair placement or speed. Yeah, and CSP just waiting. A nice play there by SMSU though, trying to at least put a damper in their their money. No SMSU gonna have to save here to be able to buy for next. 
This is a kind of make or break round. If SMSU wins this round, it would be a great victory for them. Mm -hmm. They spent virtually no money and they can steal all the rifles they want from CSP. Yo. Oh, and but SMSU already losing Nerd Man lo A Long. And CSP immediately taking advantage. Fearful Shadow oh. getting one. Getting two. And not even going down. Breadloaf hitting three. Oh. Oh, and SMSU losing a sight there. But in a 1v. Or, oh, what? 3v2 one now. SMSU now in a 1v3. Bucky, the last player oh. left alive. Oh, Bucky. Gets picked from heaven. Oh, looking away at an inopportune man. time. And CSP coming back to make this 8 to 9 now. And SMSU having money to buy here. And they're going to want to win this round if they're going to want to have money to buy for next. CSP's economy is quite strong right now. It looks like mm -hmm. it's going to be at least n two more hard fought rounds for SMSU if they want to bring that economy back to Yo. a point where they can just get some easy rounds. Mm hmm. And it looks like CSP is going to go for more of a mid and C push. Skyle oh. going off really early here. Getting some info though, telling them that at least three players mid. Bucky getting one pick here, C Long. Oh, but Nunu getting a pick on Breadloaf there on B, and it looks like they're going to get the bomb planted. Oh, Fearful Shadow peeking a little too close to that corner, not able to see anything. Nerdman almost getting a kill there, but not quite. Now SMSU in a 2v4. Krillik picking Nunu. Picking oh, another. Krillik picking three. Oh. We need to see Nerdman come in here and help Krillik out. Almost. Oh, oh Nerdman the nerd getting man the kills. The Will he get the defuse? It's so incredibly close. He does get this defuse, though, I think. Oh, man. A, huge A great play. victory for SMSU there. I don't know if their oh. economy is going to be very strong next round, but that win is sure going to look good right mm. now. Yeah. And CSP wow. even calling a timeout after that round. And CSP probably in awe and shock after Nerdman with a huge clutch up there for SMSU. That was probably more on Krillik getting three <laughs> kills. <laughs> yeah. Three yep. of the four players. Krillik getting very yep. lucky on the lineups. It looks like Nerdman did draw attention towards himself. So none of the players on CSP were really aware or even worried about Krillik. Mm -hmm. And Krillik brought it all back with that yep. Vandal spray down. Yeah, a Vandal spray down and then through the wall for the other one. It looked like it was actually through one of their players. Oh, was it through the player? Yeah, they lined up so perfectly. All of his bullets were hitting the second player or the farthest player. Very strong round there for mm -hmm. SMSU. Very strong round for Krillik. Krillik probably getting a lot of money from that. Oh, he, he I, yeah. It yeah. looks like SMSU can go for a full buy here, but they're going to be either buying poorer guns or poorer shields. And it looks like CSP also can full buy, so we're going to see another hard round here where SMSU is going to need to really bring all of their game. Yup. Try to get as many kills as possible, take away those guns. And now CSP having all the alts out but rays. <laughs> I didn't even see that. SMSU does have their Killjoy and Omen ults, but those, I'd say Killjoy is probably the best one, but it's very opportunistic. Oh. Wow. Oh, and Omen gonna walk right oh, in. No. Oh, no. Nerd man, a little too late on that teleport, trying to stop it. And losing the Killjoy ult even. Oh, man. SMSU falling apart. Redloaf sitting with utility. Oh, oh man. SMSU losing four players for free. Well, not for free. They lost mm -hmm. money losing yeah. players. Acrylic does pick one. 
Krillik going to have to ace this and get the defuse if they want to. Let's see what Krillik can do here. They do know where Krillik is. Oh, man. Oh. SMSU taking one player with them. That is a very bad round. Very yeah. bad round. SMSU yep. needed to do more with that. And now SMSU going to have to save here. They're going to save or force. I don't like force. Yeah. I would say yep. they need to be a little bit more money conscious. It looks like they are going to be trying to go that route, though. Yup. Hmm. SMSU needs to line their buy up a little more. Breadloaf yep. needs to get... Oh, Breadloaf might not be able to buy next round. Oh, Bucky. Bucky. Bucky with a shorty. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Does take out that raise. I'm sure that raise had a scare. Mm -hmm. Oh, does get rezzed. That takes away Sage ult early on, though. Oh, that kill on... That was a pretty strong kill for SMSU as well. Taking two rifles... Well, one rifle. Oh, and now Nerdman stuck with uh, Baki over on A. You're gonna have to... That's a shorty. Shorty. That's probably worse. Mm, yeah. Definitely not the best 1v4 situation you could be in. If it was any other gun, I'd say he had have a decent chance. This is near impossible, oh. and unfortunately, Nerdman. Yeah. That was very close. If Nerdman mm -hmm. was able to get the pick on that reign of there, he would have been yep. able to upgrade to a Vandal and yeah. probably take the round. Yup. But SMSU now able to buy this round. Yup. Ooh, most players, actually. Right, I forgot. Breadloaf didn't quite save mm -hmm. enough. And Fearful Shadow, unfortunately, just not having the money to go for that full armor. Yo. Is able to get a rifle, though. Breadloaf yeah. probably going to need to do a bit more budgeting next time around. But yep. this round should probably force with his team. Yeah. It looks like he does buy an SMG. SMSU pushing A pretty... Oh, wait, no. Sorry, SMSU's on defense. I keep forgetting that. It uh, does look like Nerdman gets picked there, and Breadloaf is also oh. going to get picked by that Raze ult. And Fearful, Fearful Shadow, Shadow getting shot in the head through a wall there. Not I going too well it. for SMSU here. Yeah. Bucky is on the flank. Krillik picking off Omen, who is on SMSU's flank. SMSU in a 2v3. Oh, Bucky. Oh, Bucky, I'm able to get a pick. And Krillik getting tagged out up in heaven. It was super close. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, SMSU unable to bring that round back, meaning that SMSU has lost their lead that they've, con they've held since it looks like the fifth round of the last half. Yeah. Oh, well, the seventh round of the last half. So now SMSU is on the back foot. They kind of need to keep keep that buy up. And it looks like, again, SMSU is going to need to either force this round or next round because yep. very soon it's going to be match point and they're either going to be playing for a tie or a win. Yep. On my mark. Bucky hearing a lot of players see long here. Oh, gets cleared by that bomb. What's SMSU going to do here? Oh, get picked from Garage. Oh. They gave up all their garage control. And now Krillik pinned. Yeah. Only getting the kill though over him. Fearful Shadow not being quiet enough. Nunu knows. Nunu sauce. Oh, oh, Krillik getting picked. Nunu getting three kills on SMSU. But Breadloaf takes one back. Breadloaf in a 1v3, oh. but doesn't have enough. Does didn't look like he even saw Omen up top there. Match point. Too many players to deal with. Mm. Too much pressure. Yeah. And this is match point for CSP here. And the SMSU still in a very broken buy. Mm -hmm. Very little in their economy. I'm wondering if Bucky is maybe thinking of buying a teammate and using their ult. Looking like it, maybe? Yep. Yep. I think he bought a... I'm not even sure. But SMSU still spread and CSP going straight for A. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. SMS you losing two and CSP losing one. Bucky with that jet ult might be able to do something. I Oh no, oh. Acrylic gets picked there. We're blind. Oh, and Bucky saw both of them here. Knows that nobody's long behind him. Oh no. Oh, gets one kill. Oh, oh my goodness, gets headshot. Man. And unfortunately, that is the game. Oh, got the a knife off though on the raise, just unable to connect a second. So close there for SMSU. And we will be back in a minute or two here with an interview. Sorry about that. Got to take care of a few things myself. So, all right. We are back here with a post-game interview for the match of the week. We've got Brandon joining us tonight, who's just in that game. And how's it going? How do you feel after the end of that game? Well, it's a bit unfortunate that we lost, but I think that round was much better than our start. Yeah. I don't know. It's just unfortunate that we can solidify the win on there. Yeah, I mean, I was watching from the other room, so I was on the five-minute delay, and, man, I really thought we had that Haven, but seeing the improvement from map one to two, you you love to see, like, that dramatic of an improvement, even, like, between a series. So how do you feel, like, overall the team performed tonight? Like, what, do you think they played kind of to our best of ability? Do you think we kind of started slow for some reason? Do you Can you kind of pick out what you think was – happening map one i think it was definitely a slow start just everyone getting warmed up and stuff like that um i think it is still overall just a team bonding thing we're still kind of learning how each other play um just trying to get used to uh how people think and stuff like that for sure what do you think's the team's like biggest strengths and then like the biggest weakness within our team um i think we do most of the time communicate pretty well trying to uh, get to the points we want to have. Uh, I think in the game sense, sometimes our sense is a bit behind. Like, Chris is obviously much higher than us, so he has a bit more knowledge, which we usually go off of what he says, just to try to learn and be able to make these calls out ourselves. Do you think that kind of makes it a little harder to play, though, when there is a little bit of a skill gap between Krish and then most of the rest of the team? I think it for sure does. Just the aim differences between, let's say, bronze, which is kind of our average, and then plat or diamond, like what Krish is. But overall, I think it also depends on how you play and your positioning because it doesn't matter really what your rank is. You can always outplay if you're smart enough. Yeah, for sure. And do you feel like it helps in, uh, the other team, the rest of the team improve faster since – you guys are playing with Krish, meaning you're playing against other players around Krish's level. Do you think that really does help you guys um, keep uh, keep going and you know improve? I think it definitely gives insight to like the higher up ranks that we could eventually hit. I think aim is somewhat of our problem for most parts, but that can always be improved with practice. So. Yeah, and aim's one of the things like if that's your biggest problem is aim. It's one of the easiest things to improve. Right. It just takes time. So it is nice to have that uh, as one of the uh, problems within the team for sure. So for somebody who's like interested in Valorant, but they're not really sure how to improve or where to go, you know, they just got the game. What kind of advice do you have for them to improve? Um, always ask questions. I mean, most of us are usually in the room all day because we're degenerates and have <laughs> nothing else to do. 
But also, I learned a lot from just watching YouTube videos and streams like that. Uh, it's really good to pick up on small things like that. Uh, usually, it, just watching stuff is a good way to learn. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so you're also on our Overwatch team. Do you find it tough to balance academics, Overwatch, Valorant, personal life, or does it kind of fit into your schedule pretty naturally? It depends on the day. Sometimes it's harder than normal. Uh, sometimes it's easier. Definitely depends on aim with these aim-based games. Uh, if your aim is bad, it could just wreck your whole yeah. day and get really long. Yeah, but I can see that. Yeah, I think I'm handling it pretty well. Sure. And then on the days where your aim's feeling great, then you oh. get all day of Those are the best aim. days ever. Yeah, for sure. So you've been in the program pretty much three years now? It'll be two since I was a freshman. Oh, yep. So you've been in, on the team for two years. What advice do you have somebody who's kind of interested in the program, but they're not really sure uh, how to get involved or if they should be involved? Uh, always reach out. I think there's usually people wearing jerseys, like I wear these every game day. Um, always ask questions. We're here to answer any you have. Um, but, yeah, worst thing we can say is just keep practicing. You'll eventually get caught up to speed, and we can eventually start getting you into games. And things like we almost had an Overwatch team, but some technical issues went through. But sometimes we can have those lower roster game throughs with uh, newer people, which um, you can always get a chance at. You just have to let them know. Yeah, and what he's referring to there is we almost had a second Overwatch team. Um, right. But we just couldn't make it quite work out. Yeah, a couple more players here or there would have been able to get a second team together. But, yeah, we're always looking at putting on more games, more teams, get more people involved you know we don't really care what your rank is when you start we want to see what your rank is when you're leaving the school because that shows how much we were able to help you improve um throughout your time here in esports so you know even if you're brand new to the game we've had some brand new overwatch people join this semester that needed to even get their games played to be able to get ranked but you know they're really enjoying themselves they're able to come to practice they're able to use the room and uh improve their skill and just find a bunch of people with like-minded interests. Sometimes maybe the best thing you're going to get out of esports is just lifelong friendships mm. or even just I didn't know how to make friends in college and, you know, I found a bunch of people with my same interest. All of a sudden I got all these uh, friends from esports. I, sure, that's how I met some of my best yeah. friends there. So. I was going to say I think most of the people in esports have found at least one or two friends that sure. they get really close to. So. That's definitely one of the advantages of joining the program. Thank you, uh, Brandon, for coming on tonight and he helping with this interview. And uh, good luck the rest of the season. Hopefully next week we'll see uh, Valorant Brown get their win. For sure.